Sculptor Lawrence Beck has waited five years for this moment, bringing artists from five countries. Each breathing new life into ancient stone. It takes about two or three guys to really get the feel of it. It's almost like courtship, you know, they make friends with the block. And yeah. with each other. Yeah. <laughs> the sounds of chisels echoing through this valley not only shatter silence and stone, they echo hundreds of years of culture. Calling the boat and the face here, the sun rise here, no? So let's see. Um, like a siren or mermaid. No. They brought religion and beliefs, eyes filled with dreaming and dust. For these artists, hope lies in knowing their work will last forever.
it's turned out a bit different to my original conception, but basically the idea is the same, and that is um, trying to express my experience of this environment, um, the water, the hills, the people, um, and then doing that I've sort of started to find uh, a sort of a symbolism in an abstract way. And, uh, those symbols might not be apparent because they're not derived from any sort of uh, cultural um, background, like, for instance, the Nepalese or the, um, the New Guinea tribesmen have they have their traditions and their, um, their, their set ways of expressing things. Um, of Lord Buddha, the future coming Buddha. Uh, that means uh, one country to another country, the cultural relation, friendship, or peace in the world. This is wood for sale. Now it's changed in the rocks and stone. So this is the masterpiece and the genuine museum piece. So we do not want to destroy this piece. The police mountain girl, she carrying her foodstuffs and everything for her life. And she is walking on the top. Uh, her support is her took in the stick for the walking in the hill top. So in this sculpture is showing the Nepalese cultural and the Nepalese life. In the mountain clouds. Two sculptors I invited from Nepal were members of Buddha's um, clan, Sakya. Uh, he had, family members had been sculpting for, had been uh, sculpting for 300 years in just outside of Kathmandu. That goes up here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like a primitive car. The making of the wheel itself. Well, I'm going to smooth this surface here. Mm. And because we're not allowed to use uh, tools, and I'm, I'm cheating a little bit because I got this sort of a thing with, uh, yes. with a bit of uh, ground chips here. Yeah, yeah. And you put, put them inside. Yeah. And they grind, you know, like a, a breather. And you're making a sandstone flower. 
Yeah, it's like a third. It's the same thing. Eh? Well, yeah. But because uh, because it two similar surfaces, they, they grind like. And eventually you get a nice smooth surface. Primitive route, eh? It's working! Ah. Hard pushing up, right? But uh, it's a simple way of making a flat plane. Uh, I suppose uh, that goes back a long way though. Well, yes, yeah, very primitive way of uh, doing it, but uh, it works. It works, it works for me.
of the silent places.